Babe, hey, I'm so glad you're back. Or if you've never been here, hi, welcome. I'm Tashira, and I love sharing beauty, skincare, fashion, and lifestyle related videos with you guys. Today, we're going to talk about skincare. Have you ever wondered why is my skin breaking out? What is going on? Like you literally wake up one day and you just have a breakout. I have got a couple beauty tips for you for those sudden breakouts. The first thing, babe, wash your makeup brushes. Your makeup brushes have so much bacteria in them. When you continuously use them and don't wash them, that bacteria gets caught in the brushes and then you're putting it back onto your skin. Don't just wash the actual brushes, wash the part that you touch too, the handles. I wouldn't suggest leaving your makeup brushes in the bathroom if you do that. Like, please don't do that. I keep mine on a desk in my room, but keep in mind, there is dust everywhere. Yeah, I mean, we use our makeup brushes and they might have a little dust on them, okay. But if they've just been sitting for months, you've not been using them, or if you've been using them for months, like, ew, sis, your dead skin is on there, please wash your makeup brushes. That is definitely causing some breakout. Next, wash your face. Cleanse your skin, because listen, you might be going to bed some days you might be too tired i would not say make a habit of going to sleep without washing your face but also keep in mind if you are experiencing breakouts do not just continuously wash your face multiple times a day no that's gonna break your skin out even more because what you're doing is you're stripping your skin of its natural oils continuously throughout the day if you're washing your skin throughout the day and your skin is trying to replenish that moisture and those natural oils so it's overcompensating. It's creating a bunch, a bunch of oil, which is probably clogging your pores and causing you to have breakouts. Now, when you are washing your face, don't forget to moisturize because like we said before, your skin is trying to replenish the natural oils. After you wash your face, it has been stripped. If you have a really great facial wash, you may still have some moisture there, but still your skin is stripped of natural oils. I use hyaluronic acid on my skin to keep the hydration in after I put on a moisturizing toner. Then I use oil to lock that further in and also a creamy moisturizer on top. So my skin is feeling super happy because remember when you don't put on the moisturizer, your skin is going to get dry, it's going to start flaking and that dry skin is going to get caught in your pores and poof breakout city now major key i should have mentioned this before wash your hands before applying skincare we're not trying to get out here just oh let me wash my face let me put on my skincare whoa whoa first wash your hands make sure your hands are clean before you touch your face because dirty hands on your skincare and on your face is just ick city bacteria city and your skin is gonna go crazy and break out. Now back to makeup really quickly. We talked about washing your makeup brushes, but also your products could be causing breakouts as well. Every now and again, make sure to sanitize your blush if you have pressed powders or eyeshadows that you use a ton, and especially if you use them with dirty brushes, please sanitize. To sanitize, all you have to do is spray your powder products with some alcohol and know it's not going to damage your product. It's literally going to sanitize the product so any germs that were on it will be gone and you've got pretty much a brand new product. Make sure to wipe the outside of the products as well every now and again with just, you know, some rubbing alcohol or a Lysol wipe or something. Now with skincare, sometimes what happens is our skin may be purging. If we started using a new product, our skin may be doing what's called purging. So it's trying to get all of those icky dead skin cells off, but it's not doing it fast enough and it's causing breakouts. If you started a new, maybe a retinol or a chemical exfoliant, this may be happening, but it'll go away within a couple weeks. Your skin is just trying to get used to the cell turnover and the removal of the dead skin cells. The dead skin cells are literally just you know, you're stuck on your face, maybe you're not washing off the treatment like you're supposed to, or your skin is just trying to keep up with the new process, but just give it time. And you may want to slow down a little bit with the product. So use it maybe one, two times a week just to introduce your skin to it because maybe you've been using it every day and it's just too much for your skin. It's too much at one time. Also check your skincare if you're using a new skincare product to make sure it doesn't have any perfumes or additives in it that are actually breaking your skin out. You can tell the difference between the purging and the like for real, for real breakout 
because purging will go away. Once that dead skin is gone, you'll see that new bright beautiful skin, dull skin will be gone and breakouts will also be gone. But if your skin is breaking out from an actual product, it may be turning red, it may be burning. And after a couple of weeks, if you're still using that product, you're still gonna have a breakout there. And usually this is not with a retinol or not with a chemical exfoliant. Usually those are the products that cause purging of your skin. And this one is super important and one that we often forget wash your pillowcases maybe you're forgetting to switch out your pillowcases you should be switching them out pretty often i try to switch mine out twice a week at least because when you're sleeping on your pillow your skin your face is rubbing against the pillow which means dead skin cells on the pillow or hair products or whatever the case may be on the pillow if your hair is not wrapped up and if you're not changing your pillowcases i mean that's why you have breakouts. <laughs> That's why. You're just sleeping on like an icky, dirty pillowcase over and over and over. Your skin is like, ew, this is nasty. And it's just getting dead, icky, dirty skin cells on it. And just breakout city is occurring. Also, while we are talking about the pillowcases, your hair. Make sure your hair is clean. Sometimes if you go too long without washing your hair, or at least I notice, I'll notice if I've gone a long time without washing my hair, I will have random breakouts and I'm wondering why is my why is my skin breaking out? But then I think, oh, my hair is dirty. Your hair touches the elements every day, every time you go outside, even if you're inside, your hair is touching the elements. There is dirt, wind blowing on your hair. So wash that hair and prevent the breakouts. I hope you guys and gals have enjoyed this video and learned something new. I've got a ton more videos for you. And also like this one if you liked it. If you want to see more, you know, here we go. Just click one. Love you guys.